from LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight. Welcome to BBN Tonight, I'm Keith Farmer. And I'm Mary Jo Perino. Tonight, we'll look ahead to Kentucky's home opener, now less than 24 hours away. We'll get help with that from Mark Stoops, wide receivers coach Javon Bonite, and Jeremy Jarman of the UK Sports Network. All right, another weekend of UK football is upon us, and that begins tonight's Big Blue Story presented by Baptist Health. Any coach will tell you one game at a time, but everyone in Kentucky's locker room is aware that they may not have a more winnable game than Mississippi at home, with Mississippi State, Tennessee, and Georgia following. The Cats need a win at Kroger Field tomorrow. Everybody wants to win on Saturday. It's the urgency on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on. To, to do everything we possibly can to put ourselves in a position to win. And that's what all the coaches are talking about, and that's what we're, you know, the, the emphasis is, is there's no time for wasted reps, um, for wasted practices or any segment of practice. I and mean, we've got to make the most of our time and, and do things right and, and get things corrected. Coach Stoops also says he expects more freshman players to see time tomorrow. Mary Jo, he, I mean, he couldn't state it any better. If you get five days, you take advantage of five days. If you slip up on one of those, then, then it's wasted time. The failure to prepare is preparing to fail. Thank you, Frank Correct? Vogel. Yes. yes. <laughs> I think I saw that with like a little cat on a sign at a dentist office once. Um, but yes, we got to get things corrected. Yeah. So, it, you know, no tone. They got to get it fixed now because yes. they've got to win this game. Uh, we talked about Auburn transfer quarterback Joey Gatewood finally being cleared uh, to play this week. Mark Stoops also talked about the possibility of seeing him in action tomorrow. We will see. Um, Bo has gotten the majority of the backup reps the past two weeks. Uh, Joey has still practiced and obviously has been running plays all camp and, and could step in, um, but we, we'll see. Um, just like any other position, um, you know, we don't we don't ever really talk about the backups at, at any other spot. Um, so. Um, we will see how it goes. Um, Terry is our starter. Uh, I'm excited about Terry. I know he'll continue to improve. Of course, Keith, we don't talk about the backups in other <laughs> positions because the quarterback of a football team, as we all know, is the most important position in sports, probably. I'm yeah. still a firm believer in Terry. I think this whole team is. I think, of course, we wanted Joey Gatewood eligible, but this, this is Terry's team. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's no reason to take it away yeah. from him, especially after he has performed and worked so hard to rehab in the offseason to get ready for this season. Look, he hadn't played in a while, so he's a little rusty in game one. I think he's going to improve as we continue to see him, and it starts with Ole Miss. Yeah. I'm just excited. I hope we get to see all three quarterbacks because that means we're probably up like 51-0 yeah. or something. I'll yeah, that. I'll take it all day. All right, after the Kentucky Ole Miss game, join us for a live stream of a special LEX 18 postgame report. Join me and Eli Gain from Kroger Field, also some others, as we break down the game. Check out the LEX 18 app on devices including Apple TV, Roku, and Amazon Fire, or the LEX 18 Facebook page for the live video stream after the game. Now the folks at Kentucky Wildcats TV are the best, and they have come up with another hype video for the football team. For UK Ole Miss, they called on former team captain Wesley Woodyard to lend his voice. Who said this game was easy? You will get knocked down. You will get blocked by adversity. Frustrating day for the Wildcats after they played so well in the first half. But at the end of the day, you decide how you get back up. The BBN is resilient. We may be standing apart for now. But this team can feel your passion. This year, we've all been through a lot. It's been tough. But so are we. We fight for victory. For one nation. The Big Blue Nation. Till the battle is won. First down, Kentucky. Yeah, Look out. Oh, he's going right. Big hole. Touchdown. Mary 
Joe. Yeah, I know. I know. I, know. I, I love the fact, though, that he brought up the Auburn game and that you got to get back up. And, and I certainly hope that they sh this is the last thing that the players see right before they run out onto the field. I, it's got to be. I hope they watch it today, tomorrow, <laughs> tonight, whatever. Watch it. Yeah. All right. We've talked about the changes that are coming to Kroger Field uh, because of the uh, pandemic. UK gave LEX 18 a sneak peek of what fans can expect. You must have a ticket to enter. Of course, no tailgating will be allowed. Athletics officials say there will be hotspot opportunities at the stadium, but they recommend loading your ticket and parking pass on your phone prior to leaving home to eliminate as many issues as possible. Fans are asked to take their temperature beforehand, and if yours is above 100.4, they ask you to stay home inside the stadium. Everything from the field to concessions will look different to accommodate for social distancing. Only 12,000 fans will be allowed in a stark contrast to stadiums. A capacity of 62,000 fans will have assigned seats and will be spaced out. And of course, you got to remember this. You have to have a mask, not a bandana or a gator that goes around your neck. No, you got to have the mask that goes over your ears. All right, so we'll make sure that that's all taken care of. All will be well. Another reminder, there are a limited number of tickets available for this season's five home games. They run from $60 to $110. That will include a parking pass, and there's a limit of six tickets per game per customer. And most seating blocks are in groups of two or four. Tickets only available at UKAthletics.com slash 2020 football. Meanwhile, Kentucky has moved to mobile ticketing as the sole way to enter and to attend the home games this season. Now to a story surrounding the game. UK police, the Fayette County Health Department and Lexington police are teaming up to crack down on students breaking the university's coronavirus restrictions even when they're not on campus. Starting just before tomorrow's game, campus police and Lexington police will patrol off campus student housing looking for anyone breaking regulations on gathering sizes and social distancing. Um, Keith, this is not a surprise after the numbers have gone up, uh, especially even after Fayette County Public Schools said, listen, UK's numbers are part of the reason why we can't really go back yeah. to in-person classes right now. So um, they're going to bust you. Yeah, no tailgating even off yeah. grounds there. All right, we end the segment with the NBA Finals. Game two is tonight, but will most likely not feature ex-cat Bam Adebayo and Goran Dragic of the Miami Heat as they try to bounce back from a game one pounding by the Lakers. The Heat injuries uh, add more pressure for Tyler Hero and company. Coming up next on BBN Tonight, we'll talk more Kentucky and Ole Miss. Yeah, I'm going to visit with wide receivers coach Javon Bonite about what he expects from his group tomorrow when we return. <laughs> 